we here for? Well, what are we here for right now? Well, we're driving. Purple cast. Oh, we're here. <laughs> What's up, purple goers? <laughs> purple cast episode three. Episode three. So, I got something interesting to talk about just to start. Yeah. Once, once we start podcasting, you know what I find interesting? What? We can just kind of start rifting it. Yeah. You know, and then I guess like a third person's in the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get the, you can just kind of go off. It's, it's, it's a different kind of conversation dynamic, eh? It is. It, it's very different because you're kind of, you don't, you explain more as well. Because yeah. you have to act, act as if there's a third person. Right. That doesn't know anything. Explaining to the next level just seems like a big deal. Mm-hmm. Like anything about the topic at hand at all, you have to just assume nothing. Like they don't know anything, I think. Yeah. So because yeah, anybody could be viewing, so then it's almost like you have to be ready for any anyone. <laughs> for the video viewers, yeah, out there, we're in beautiful Nova Scotia. Yeah, this is like the beauty of the Nova Scotian plain. Yeah. Right here. here you go. It honestly looks kind of like death out right now. It like looks the trees. Do you think it looks like better in the camera though? <laughs> it does look, oh wow, it does look a bit more aesthetic in the colors, maybe. I think the color wave on the phone, like the phone screen looks better than real life, which it's, is kind of funny. It's optimizing it. Right? <laughs> yeah, some bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's designed for a new, uh, you know, the like the Instagram social media age, right? Oh yeah. You know, you have to edit your pictures, Siri will do it for you now. That's true, <laughs> you know? Know? The new iPhone's totally worth it for myself. It's like better than some people's vision. Better than my vision. For sure. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I guess that's true. Like the night cameras when you take night pictures. Oh, yeah. You can see way better than you can totally the object. And it doesn't use flash. iPhone 11 is probably a whole other level. iPhone 11 is like ridiculous. It's way more than you need. Is it? I think so. It's more than you would need. I want an iPhone 11, man. But more quality. I'm not cashing out like that, like I'm some stupid. You know what I mean? No, you gotta keep it, uh, I mean, I cashed out kind of, but. Yeah, no, you. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, I don't. What do you mean you cashed out? Did you get your phone on a contract? I did get my phone on a contract. So did I. I guess, yeah, you didn't buy cash. But, yeah, maybe it wasn't. The guy told me it was cheaper on a contract. I don't fucking know anything. It doesn't it make any sense when I'm thinking of it. But Yeah, it feels cheaper on the contract. How much did you pay for your phone? I put $0 down. Okay, well, did he tell you how much it cost over the long haul if you were not to do it with? No, I was a very easy sale. Oh my god! I, I called them. <laughs> I said this is what I need. Yeah. I said I need a phone with unlimited data, uh -huh. um, and preferably an iPhone because I have one now, and yeah. that'll be an easy transition. Okay. And I have the deal for you. What type of phone do you have? iPhone 11, unlimited everything. iPhone 11. Yeah, unlimited everything. Oh yeah. Oh. Dude, yeah, you did get a crazy phone. I, oh, I yeah. thought you had like a something else. I used to have an eight, but I cracked it and I broke it. The camera doesn't work; it's all busted up. Liam's always being one generation ahead of me, goddamn. <laughs> two, gen literally two generations ahead of me every time. But the thing is, this is gonna stay, and then by the uh -huh. time you get one, you'll be like three generations ahead, right? But by the time it's you, you need, you, what? By the time you have to replace that, because it's probably gonna be quite a while. Mm -hmm. You seem to keep your phone in pretty good condition for the most part, like. It'll be two years, maybe. Yeah, two years, so, and this thing isn't going to be changed for at least three. I'm going to keep this till it's old. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping it till it's unusable. Like, it's like, oh my god, why would you ever use that? I, I guess it looks like it's pretty, like, sexy already, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It meets the qualifications. And then you always get, like, your life upgrades like crazy by the time you replace that, like, your standard at all. Technology, more to all, though, we got to do it every year because this is so much different. I know. Technology's <laughs> kind of crazy like that. The exponential growth, like. Uh huh. Um, this is an abandoned like paper mill, I think. I'm zooming in. Abandoned paper mill for people that can view. Mm -hmm. I've I've all wanted to explore it before, but kind of creeps me out a little bit. You think it's haunted? You know, I, you obviously don't believe in ghosts, right? Like, no, yeah. I just feel like there'd be, I don't know, I feel like there, there could definitely be some squatters in there. Oh, that's interesting, you know, like abandoned, I've never seen that type of thing before. Like it's huge, right? Like just an abandoned building. Yeah. All right, we should probably get the map up on your phone. Yeah, we should. So we're heading out right now to do something ridiculous. Yeah, you put the in for do you remember the address? 
I, t I sent a picture of it to you. Yeah, you sent a picture of it. It's a morning war or something. Uh, can you open your text message and picture? Yeah. I'm not the yeah. type of guy to go through your phone, hey? Yeah. Some people, I don't I don't particularly enjoy it when other people are using my phone. 44 no, just, Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. You don't really, because uh, phones are interesting because sometimes you'll stumble onto something, like, or something will pop up. I don't know. know. It's just like privacy, too. Yeah, it's like a privacy thing. Not that, like, like yeah. I wouldn't be ashamed of anything that would pop up on my phone. Literally, I can't think of anything, but, but I don't know. But you, uh, you don't want to see someone else's when you're using their phone. Maybe they like okay. can't stay on my conversations, you know what I mean? Oh, well, yeah. Like, that's like weird. Yeah, yeah, don't be reading no messages. That's, that's but, super weird to like go, go through. I guess like there's nothing like even bad in there still, but like... Uh, it's just like weird because it's... it's out of context and or stuff. like and play yeah. jokes, like come on. Yeah, it's like it's a conversation that's not meant for... It's meant for the person that you're talking to through the text message, right? Not, yeah. Not another party. It's only meant for two parties. I just don't know the right answer, but it's not enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Okay, so one of the things that we were going to talk about today was podcasting in general. Yeah, just the general form. Well, um, what were you going to say about it? I just think it's interesting how, uh, like, what people listen to in transition. I feel like there's a lot of people, like, podcasts that are, like, very prominent compared to... Like everyone knows what a podcast is. Uh huh. It's very rare you'll find someone that has no idea what a podcast is. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah. Like that has no uh, no concept of it at all. To give like an example, we were talking to people who were 40, 30, 40 years old. Yeah. They, they knew a podcast. They thought it was for young people, but they knew mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Yeah, really. Like they they knew, and they kind of understand. Like it's interesting. Before uh -huh. it was, I feel like it was only music radio. Right. I personally, I grew up on podcasts. I didn't, I didn't do music. I didn't podcast growing up, and I, I enjoy them. I don't know. Yeah, it's just uh, I think people enjoy listening to. Um, you know what? Reading. Listen, I feel like other people's there. I think that's another part. Yeah, in the conversation. You ever see those memes where people say what it feels like to watch a podcast, and it's just people talking, and then you're like sitting on the outside of a window, and like, like yeah. That's it. I feel like there's some there's. All right, I'm going to get into like a little science, but I'm just like purely speculating. I feel like there's a little bit of a uh, psychology going on here, like evolutionary, like we're used to having people, like having people around, and okay. we feel like we're friends with the people, and that kind of builds like a connection, and now we want to come back. Because I've also heard that like people who watch a lot of TV shows with a lot of different people, your brain can't tell these people on the screen are real, so you feel like you have more friends. So maybe it's also applies to audio. Is really what I'm saying. You know, with the yeah. podcast. I like that, yeah. That makes sense. I feel like you definitely, especially if you're, people are further away now in a sense, like, uh -huh. so having, when you listen to someone consistently, too, yeah. mm -hmm. you definitely get the grasp of, like, understanding and feeling like you know them. Right. Well, right. So that's what we're doing for you guys with Purplecast. The Purplecast. <laughs> if anybody's listening to this, really, you know, yeah. I'd be very, like, happy to hear that. Like, good for you guys. Or, if not, whatever. It's just, like, us talk talking. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny how that <laughs> developed itself, honestly. Purple Growers. Yeah, how Purple Growers developed. Yeah, Purple Growers was an interesting one. From strictly growing marijuana every day. Yeah, so, do you want to tell the story? This is, like... <laughs> Purple yeah, Growers Revealed. Purple yeah, <laughs> the blanket's being pulled. Alright, so what is Purple Growers? Yeah, okay, Purple Growers was an idea that... Um, really good idea, I a, think. A, a genius idea that, that Matt and I had. Um, and we took action on it pretty good. We did take action. We took action on it essentially as soon as we came up with it. We started yeah, we just started doing it. We didn't even think of it. We just started doing it. Yeah, it was, yeah, and honestly, it turned out really well. Essentially, what happened was... Uh, you know, cannabis was being legalized in Canada. Uh -huh. So we were like, how can we use this to benefit ourselves? Mm -hmm. And kind of to turn, turn something, and like experiment and try something out. Yeah. So we uh, we said we're gonna grow weed and we're gonna document it. Mm -hmm. and we're, gonna, we're gonna teach people how to grow weed online at, in their house. On Instagram. On Instagram. We're gonna, okay. We were gonna build something and um, so then we we started meeting every day, and let, let's be honest, like, okay, I, 
I lived with someone that grew some weed, but I didn't ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Weed. Oh, sorry. This guy was like kind of squirming in front of us. You, you didn't you never grew weed but, but we were like teaching grew, it yeah i didn't ever grew weed myself personally um i just knew some people that did we we're teaching the textbook yeah but we so what we did was we essentially just taught the textbook like we we researched every single day yeah and we would create these uh articles essentially like yeah, scripts seriously. like articles of what we were of what we're, we were learning yeah man and, and then we would teach it on instagram yeah and then we would also spend our day commenting on every single post yeah literally weed, literally growing weed dm dms responding to people we built a community honestly yeah like, and then it transitioned we took we stopped we, we just stopped motivation well that, i think the big problem was we just didn't it wasn't the right thing to do it on here's yeah. the thing we were very efficient but we weren't effective i think we did we did everything like things were happening and yeah. really it's so simple like go fucking post a lot yeah go in the community and comment everywhere uh-huh. like so people see your name over and over yeah. and then they click on you and then they go on your profile and then dm them have them dm you just be really good yeah get featured blah, blah, blah. and then you start building that's like that's the whole thing dude yeah. the tactics are not fucking complicated no it's super easy well people just don't want to work man that's scary it. yeah <laughs> that is scary we did it like it yeah was, it was, we got what were the results um, I mean, we had we had a follower count, but we three thirty two hundred followers for a hundred posts. Mm-hmm. That's a hundred days. Yeah, up to three k from zero. From zero. Literally, yeah. like no friends, nothing, like nothing. zero. Yeah, like literally thirty two hundred. Yeah, 100 days. and that was like what a year ago? Yeah, two years ago maybe now. Mm-hmm. And you can't still get gains and lose his followers like on a pretty once their basis. Mm-hmm. Like I get notifications all the time. Some people actually sent growing questions on my personal page. That's so funny. I think it's... I, I answer them. Yeah, good. To the best of my knowledge. Dude, it's just providing value yeah. consistently. Like, So, what do you want to provide value about? That's like that's like everybody... My big dilemma, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I think the, the biggest thing to do is to figure out what oh, you man. can provide value in. Yeah. Um, on, well, here, so, maybe like focus on, on your strengths type idea? Yeah, and then... Um, with your strengths and your interests I think your interests mm-hmm. too right like yeah and then from there but then you have to determine what your interests are that's so interesting you can't figure out your interests just like psh, like that you know what I mean yeah well a lot of people know others better than they know themselves right because it's in right. a sense like you yeah. can look it's easy to look up from the outside at someone else but not on you does that make sense Say that last sentence again, please. So it's easy to kind of look and make an honest assessment on someone else. Uh huh. Just look at their. What oh, they I do, see. But yeah. it's harder to look at yourself. Maybe because some sort of like self-serving bias type idea. Yeah. Okay. So then, could we take that next exit? Like, I got to pee so bad, bro. Uh, that. Sorry, man. I just got to pee like really bad. <laughs> That's the road trip life. Uh, we'll keep the podcast going, of course. Yeah. PCAS. The PCAS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a new concept. You do a podcast um, in the bathroom every day about the PCAS. Oh my god. It's a poop cast. The poop cast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we pretty much have an idea that we have a pretty good framework of basics at least. Mm-hmm. Like, what is it? Like, okay, just like post on something, produce content, be prolific around the one thing that you want to give, give back to the community on. What do you yeah. want to give back? That's all the questions it comes down to. Yeah, and then what do you want to give back? And then. I think to find the answer to that is you just get back on everything that you do and uh, eventually figure it out. Why do you give back to everything you do and you eventually, so kind of just like tasting idea? Yeah, you just taste, taste, taste. Eventually you find something that you like to feel. Uh, anywhere like on the side where it's like bushes or something, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're in the kind of middle of nowhere at this point, I feel like. Yeah, I think right here. Right here? <laughs> no, no, yeah, right off the overpass. Over path. here. It's raining, but only on a streamline. <laughs> here we are in the, you can see we're farmland, Nova Scotia. The booties. <laughs> I, I really think you probably get more of this video from audio, but. Yeah, you don't really gain a lot through the video. So. You get to see where we are, here guess, we are. Yeah, yeah, I guess you get to see. Get to see Liam's fine driving skill. Stick, yeah. stick shift. Stick shift. Oh yeah, here's, here's where Liam's taking me to pee. You're gonna have to one man show it when I'm out there. Exit, sir. This is a farm. 
Oh my god, Liam, you're making me pee on the people eat this food. <laughs> no, not in the food. <laughs> like, this looks like a what a scary farm, like one that you see. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, bro. Just like jump okay. in the bush. So Matt's gonna go jump in the bush. Oh it's pretty crazy. We're on the farm here. It's like the boonies in Nova Scotia. We were just talking about the boonies. What would constitute the the boonies? Oh. <laughs> you didn't really go too far in the bush. Like literally, just like right outside. It's funny. Uh yeah, we're actually on our way. Matt was gonna sell his car. That's kind of an interesting story. He's gonna sell his car, but it is way too uh dangerous, I guess you could say, to sell it. So <laughs> now we're just driving over to it was about an hour away, so we we're gonna sell his car. We had to drive about an hour to get there. Um, so we're on our way there now, but on the way over, the car was pretty dangerous to drive. It was starting to fishtail a bit, so we decided against driving it over. But, um, in the process of selling the car, we had to get this person's license plate, and we ripped it off the car. So, we ripped it off the car, and she doesn't have a license plate, so now what we're doing is we're driving to bring her the license plate. <laughs> yes, yeah, we are. I was just kind of telling them why, why we're out, out in the boonies in Nova Scotia, I guess you could say. And why we're. Let me just grab some water too here for me. We're going solid. Take a look. In a book. Is that a TikTok? Shout out to my boy in the mouth stuff. I don't know. Is that a TikTok? No clue. Probably could be. Okay. I gotta, that was a very refreshing pee, to tell, tell you the truth. Yeah. Um. So, what were we talking about, though, before? Before you went to pee. Yeah, before. Um, like a little kid, I had to make it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it was content. Or, um, they liked serving, right? Serving to the person, oh yeah, or the audience, or you know, whoever you decide you are to, going to serve to. Um, other than that, what else did we want to talk about? Um, why do you have a textbook in your car? A textbook? Oh, I see. okay. So, whoops, I'm going in the wrong gear, boys. <laughs> we just dropped it. Not sure. Whoa! Oh man! The, the show that. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. So go for it. Um, so oh, the thing is here. Yeah. So I do a sales job, and I realize that my taxes uh -huh. are gonna be pretty um, intense. Are you trying to earn taxes? Yeah. And I, well, I was listening <laughs> to Ty Lopez, and he was yeah. talking. You probably heard this ad. I, I was just listening to the Titan. Rockefeller said like the biggest yeah, yeah, yeah. thing was accounting, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, account. I, I guess I should know some accounting. And my dad yeah. had like a lot. Like okay. I probably have like six or seven different textbooks can I get accounting textbooks that I'm just gonna read through fair enough I can teach you a little bit of the basics yeah and I did do, do the school too you did you did some as well I right? did like financial accounting managerial accounting blah, blah, blah. okay okay so what was man I think it's important to know like what, what the numbers even fucking mean in the first place yeah that's the thing I have no I have no idea what the numbers mean I'm sure the thing is serious, right? so we'd be talking about like itself when we be talking I, I wonder sometimes like what people know but we talk, we'd be talking about gross profit. Yeah. But nobody's talking about like net profit. Like what's. Yeah, like, I know, net profit. What does gross profit mean? It's what just is, I don't, I don't everything to get all the profit. Before some sort of expenses. Yeah, before any expenses, right? So the company profit would be after like they pay us and they do this and that. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Like paying for Marion and or whatever. And then like, I don't even know. There's like a bunch of numbers that like, I just don't know what they mean now too. Honestly, I'm probably not the best like. To get off the highway and get back on it. Yeah, this is, okay, thanks guys. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Then there's like all these financial, like like return on investment. There's like all these other ones like CCA. What's that stand for? Cash accumulation. I don't even remember. Like the cost of depreciation, how that works. Yeah, yeah. See, there's a lot of there's just a lot of stuff that I need to know. Kind of. The very most basic would be like assets equals to net liabilities plus equity. Or assets plus liabilities. I don't even fucking know. Fuck, I'm like a retard, bro. <laughs> but some shit like that, that'd probably be good to know, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know anything, man. I literally don't know anything about counting. Yeah, no, that's, I, neither do I, so that's really why I, uh... But what is the equity? That's why I asked you what is equity that one time. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because I was like, I, I'm like, sussed out. What does that even fucking mean? Although, probably way over my head anyways. I, I don't know what, like, yeah. Bro, I'm equity. I was listening. I was, when I was reading Phil Knight, he didn't seem to care about equity. Elon Musk wish he didn't go public. Like, like going public gives like equity because he gets shares given out, right? Yeah. But Elon Musk wishes he didn't. He didn't go uh, public for one of his companies. Yeah. Because now he like lost some control because the shareholders have control now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like another stakeholder, basically. Yeah, you get. Yeah, you like sell a piece of your company, right? That's... And then they earn some sort of profit back. Yeah. See, that's. A... It's like a loan almost. Yeah. It is. It's a way to like. It works though. It works. Yeah, but your company doesn't have to give out dividends or anything. But if they sell the share, you have to buy it. Well, yeah, if they sell a share, people buy it. But once it's bought, so like once the company releases shares, uh huh, they get the money. Right, but then somebody else can take control. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then shareholders have a percentage of that company, whatever percentage of the shares you that's distribute out. Seagulls everywhere. Yeah, that's a, that's a seagull firm. Um, we have eight minutes left. Okay. Yeah, she's not really that far away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we're driving. This is another funny thing, too. So we've never met this person. Yeah, but we're but, cool with it. Hopefully yeah. he's cool with us. Yeah, but we're the, that now we're going to drive him to, a, like, a bus station. Like 40 minutes in town, basically. Yeah, 40 minutes in town. Maybe, like, more like an hour, honestly. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting, too. Like, it's kind of... It's just, like, a fun adventure that we're on, really. Liam, I really appreciate it. You come out here for no pay now, because I... <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just, co- I'm, I'm just coming out to, uh... Good to, like... I don't know, man. I think it's kind of cool. I just like the idea of this. <laughs> no, I really appreciate like, you coming, man. You helped me out very much by doing this. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not doing anything anyway, so... Okay. We're, we're shooting the podcast, you know what I mean? Yeah, and we're doing the podcast. Yeah, see, that's the value. That's, like, your payment, right? It's like oh, the value, on. right? Because Ty is talking about acquiring mentors. Right? Yeah, okay. It's not take, take, take. Yeah, okay. Do so, it seems like even just send him a gift to do anything, you know? Uh huh. Fair enough, man. I love that. And sometimes mentors don't teach you in the ways. He said the karate kid is like the. I have him on my wall, man. Yeah, that's the best, best mentor. Movie concept as a mentor so like i really don't understand why people nobody can really debate mentors right mentors is pretty like it, it, yeah no i don't think there's that much of a debate um i feel like just be, it's going out and getting a mentor requires quite a bit of work you know like a mentor just doesn't come to you some people say it's not worth it mm, i don't know man you're standing on the shoulders right of the giants yeah but, like i don't agree with me either Good like, artists copy, great artists steal. Right, so what are like the points behind that, basically? Don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Like, what, what, what would... Find someone that's that's 10 years ahead of you. Yeah. So that you don't make the same mistakes they made because you're about to go through them. Find somebody who's... Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. You cut the learning curve. Yeah, you don't need a mentor, but it's quicker if you have one. I think it's a... Warren Buffett has a saying that relates to this. Really? It's, uh, you might have heard it, Tyler Ty- 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 said it. You only learn from mistakes, but nobody said they had to be yours. Yeah. And that's true, like, people say you gotta learn, from, like, yeah, well, we can learn what other people did, right? Mm-hmm. Isaac Newton had that quote, I, the reason why I can see so far, I stand so tall is because I stand on the shore of giants. Yes, man, like, that's literally what I went over today with these steps. I love that. It's so true. Yeah, it is. We're just, you stand on the shoulder of the giants, so pick your giant. But, like, yeah, so it's just a matter of, like, adding a little bit more mentorship into your life in general, probably. Yeah. You can get them. You can get it from anything. I think a, a in-person mentor is important, though, now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think it's important. To, like, I think everything is good, but mm-hmm. I think it is definitely going to be um, <laughs> something of, of a priority of mine to... 
yeah. and get a, a, an in-person mentor. I'm gonna, I'm knocking this guy's door. I met him twice. Uh, I wonder how that goes after that job. I'll honestly. tell you. I'll tell you. I, I, I'll do it this week. Please. I'm gonna do it this week. Get a video. Get, get a voice recording of it, maybe. I'll, I'll get a video before I knock it, and then I'll do the voice recording and be like, all right, this oh, is yeah. how it went, guys. No oh, commentary after? Like, yeah. what you do with it now? Yeah, and then, yeah, and then if I pause it. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm picturing the... See, being a producer, or a, 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 just a creator, man, a creative is just like... Yeah. It's just the way to go, man. So you're big on just, like, creating, like, a lifestyle. This is almost like a lifestyle brand, but, like, a different... Like, literally, just your lifestyle. Yeah, you know? it's just my life, man. Yeah. And your lifestyle is kind of like learning, kind of doing whatever, mm -hmm. teaching as you go. Just documenting the process. Yeah, because teaching is a, a way how you really solidify and learn, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like. So it's just like a lifelong of learning. And that's what Marion said too. And Tal Lopez says that too. You know, become a learning machine. Yeah. It's not the fastest or strongest to survive, it's the most adaptable. When you're born. You have the capability of learning every language. That's your specialty. Oh, okay. Right. But you lose it. But well, you don't lose it, it just gets a lot harder. You, yeah, you lose. You use the natural affinity for it. Yeah. And I feel like what happens is you, the more you know, the less you know, right? So you just kind of. One way, a good way to visualize that? The what? more you know, the less you know? A good way to like to picture it? Just imagine what you know as a, a, a big ball. Mm -hmm. And as you add more to that ball, the. Uh, the the uh, circum uh, perimeter around it gets bigger. Yeah. And now you you know less. Mm. You know, there's more new things that you could know because you know more. Yes. I, th I think I just think that's a nice way to visualize. Yeah, it is to put a picture, paint the picture of the. Oh, sorry, I kind of cut you off to tell you that. No, but I understand that that, that puts a good uh, picture in my head. I like that. What were you gonna talk about though? Before? Um. Well, just like that concept, right? So like you, you can always learn. You want to say that? Take, take, yeah. Take, take. Go with her. Here, like, I'll let it. Right, go, go, give it, give it, give it. Let's go. Very subtle. And then put it in. I'm done. Grenade! Oh! Throw her in! <laughs> Covering! <laughs> Playing too many fucking World War II games. Uh. Oh yeah, absolutely. He'd be like, "Woo!" You think he's gonna just like? <laughs> um, I'm good, guys. <laughs> I'll take the bus. Okay. I'll jog it. <laughs> He'll probably just, yeah. I'll probably talk about it. Hopefully, they're not like too conservative, like Marion was talking about. What's he gonna do? Like, no, I don't give a fuck. Get me no, 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 no. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> um. Okay, let's just wrap up the podcast then. I, it, yeah. it was a good flow. I wanted to keep going, but let's just... Yeah, we got cut off by the, um, just, I guess, the circumstances of Mary. We're, we're picking up this guy. What's the purpose of the podcast, or how the podcast came to? The beginning created the end. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about it next episode. So if you made it this far, please like, subscribe, comment. Leave a review. Please. please. I'm not even like... It doesn't even, honestly, like, even if it's a bad one, God damn it, just at least two stars, you know? Here's, here's what I'm saying, because I'm going to be real. I don't want you to leave a bad review, but like, listen, guys, if it's fucked up, if we're, if we're messing up, leave a comment at least. Yeah, and at least you know, know man. But like, yeah. you can leave a bad review too if you don't think it was good. However, I hope you've made it this far. You probably thought it was good. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying it now. Leave a like. <laughs> leave a like. <laughs> uh, please. And if you don't, that's okay too. But uh, the reason why I ask at the end is because it, it just shows that, you know, it usually works better and then everybody's kind of like, it's more of a community that way. Yeah, and I feel like if you're, yeah, if you made it this far, I feel like you enjoyed the. Yeah. Even my, if you don't think you enjoyed mm -hmm. it, maybe subconsciously you enjoyed it a little bit. Because come I don't on, know. I yeah. you made it this deep. We hip, like maybe you hated now. it. Like we hypnotized them for too long and like, oh, I just wasted so much time. Oh. <laughs> if that's the, the case, we're the yeah. guys you love to hate. Like, right on. Uh, but a comment. I would much rather comment over anything. Yeah, because I just want to know what you think, cool. honestly. Mm -hmm. And you can bet your ass we're going to reply. So have a good day. Yeah.